Democrats at the state capitol who passed a law cracking down on Colorado's towing industry say state, state regulators are proposing to water down some of their consumer protections. So now the Democrats are asking a judge to delay the new rules from taking effect. We've pointed out several instances where uh, the proposed rules are inconsistent or contrary to legislative intent. So yeah, we would ask that the uh, court either strike down the rules or hit pause on the proceedings. The PUC regulates towing companies. They're currently drafting new rules and fines that would come in line with the state's new towing bill of rights that passed last year. But late last week, the Dems behind that legislation told the PUC they don't like several of these proposed changes. For example, the new law requires a tow company to release a vehicle if the owner pays either 60 bucks or 15% of the tow bill. The PUC proposal would require the rest to be paid in a 30 to 90 day window. State legislators want a more open ended timeline. And we wanted to make sure that um, that there was flexibility um, so that a towing operator and an individual uh, um, uh, could figure out what the best payment plan for themselves would be. Democratic State Senator Julie Gonzalez and other legislators have an issue as well with the PUC rules regarding tow notices on private property. They say the language being allowed by state regulators is too flexible. They want it to be more direct. PUC judge is expected to rule on the new regulations later this month. PUC is already looking at nearly 1,000 complaints against Colorado's biggest tow company, Wyatt's. Democratic Attorney General Phil Weiser revealed just last week that his office is also investigating Wyatt's.